My name is Chong Wang. This is a story about my educational life in Laos. When I was 12 years old, my father took me to another village to live with my uncle so that I could go to school. That village was located in Mueang Cha, about 50 miles away. It took two and a half days of walk to get there. It was the first time that I had to leave my family and be on my own. I was excited when I went to school the first time. It was nice to see all my friends at school, but I did not have free living. During that time that I went to elementary school, I had to take a park in the house chores before and after school. Early in the morning, I had to chop banana stems mixed with yam and rice flour to feed the pigs and also cut on the corn to feed the chickens. Then I could go to school. After school, I would head straight to the banana field and chop off some banana stems to prepare for the morning feeding. That was my routine for about five years and I get to see my family about three and four times a year. After I complete elementary school, I moved even further from my family to attend middle school in a small town called Punhong, which was about 250 kilometers away. I didn't get to walk this time. I was very lucky to commute by riding an automobile. It was an old truck a soldier used for riding and loading weapons for the soldier during the Vietnam War. In Punghong, I lived with my uncle, my man's brother. I had to help my uncle with agriculture farming. I helped him tend the corn and rice fields on the weekend and go to school during the weekdays. The cost of living and working was not as bad as when I was in an elementary school. But I still longed for my family, for I only get to see them once a year. Slowly working on my way to college, I entered the big city of Yangzhen the capital of Laos. All the hard work that I did pay off in a good way. At this time, I got a scholarship and was given a free room in the college dormitory. I had a part-time job delivering newspapers in the morning and volunteer at the library in the university. I was 26 years old when I graduated from college with a degree in physician assistance. I felt like an orphan during my educational study. I had parents to encourage me to study and get an education, but I had to live without them. I had to work hard in exchange for my living in order to achieve my education. That was not what I had wished for. I thought the one I was done with elementary school, I could be closer to my family. But it wasn't what I had hoped for. My father, who had worked for the CIA during the Vietnam War, had left to the United States during my middle school years. I was hopeful that my mother would move close to where I went to college, but then she left to the United States as well. I was left alone in Laos until 2007, when I finally got reunited with my family. And that was when I came to the United States. It's a bittersweet transition in my life. Education is very important to me. Here in America, I have to start all over again on my education. My college degree from Laos is useless with the standards here. I cannot get hired at the hospital for the position that 
I had worked so hard for, for so many years. Studying over on my education and learning a new language is hard for me. My future goal is to be competent in English and get a college degree here. For a job that I can use my knowledge with a stroke of a pen and not with so much energy and strength. I am currently studying at the health center. This time, my education will be different because I am now finally close to my family.